All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lay out pickets and treads in AutoCAD. I'll show a little bit of the math in case you're not using the CAD program, you can still figure out the layout. So typically you're going to have a, a number or a spacing. So let's do a, a number. Let's say we want to take this bay and we want to put this stanchion in there. Let's move it, enter. Kind of want to have one there and control C actually hit it there and there we want the gaps to be here here and here we want all those openings to be the same so the way we do that is we put it we create a theoretical tread uh, theoretical uh, move to here we're going to create a theoretical stanchion and it's going to be the in, so we're going to have inside face wall to inside face wall and we're going to add, bury this one theoretically inside the wall on the one end okay and then we're going to do uh, L enter in AutoCAD this is the easiest way from the left side of that stanchion to the inside face wall over here enter and what we really have is uh, left side to left side and then we're going to just divide that so let's hit divide select it three enter and if we take this we're talking about left side move enter let's like just copy and paste it And then that's those are equally spaced. And then what's happening is if we put this one here, you'd see that all we did was uh, lay them out center to center. So the left side, to the left side, to the left side, to the left side's all the same. Delete and then uh, just delete those. So that's how you lay them. Let's just show you that those are the same. Twenty-one point eighty-three. Enter. Uh, those they'll all be exactly the same. And that's what we're looking for in case we weren't up because then that's it. Let's go back to do, 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 do. if we want to lay these pickets out, the way pickets are usually laid out is uh, we're gonna lay them out the same way and we can switch sides, it doesn't matter. Oh, what do we got going on here? Oh <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Create a new one. PL, enter. Oh, I could have done a rectangle. Let's just do a rectangle. And then right click for snap override from this point and 1.5. So now we've got a one and a half inch picket. Let's fill that with a hatch, draw, hatch, uh, enter, select it, put it there, let's turn it red, enter, and then group. All right, so now we have a, a stanchion, a picket. So move it. Same thing. It's going to be in the theoretical. There's going to be a theoretical one at the end, right? So the seventy-three and a half becomes seventy-five, right? So now we know the max opening is four. So if we had four plus one and a half, we'd have a five and a half inch max. So whatever we're going to end up is going to be less than that. So we're going to divide 75 by five and a half. Calculator 75 divided by 5.5. And that's 13. So we're going to end up with 14 stanchions, right? 13, even that would be 13 and a half. So we're going to shrink the, all those together so that we end up with 14 full. So we'll have equally spaced pickets. So that's how you would do the math. And then 
uh, let's do the math again. So I'll show you the math, just so you know that everybody has AutoCAD. So we're going to go 89, uh, 75 divided by 14 equals, and we're just going to copy and paste that later. Control C. And then uh, we can do this, grab it, move it. Let me do this first. I've got that stored in the, I, I copied that number. Let's go L, enter. Same way, this is how you do it in AutoCAD. Do this one, enter. And then we're going to go divide. Right here, enter, 14. And then we can do the same thing. So that's the, the way that I do this in AutoCAD is this, and, and then move it. Right, now I have the first picket, and we can get rid of that for now. Now that I have that, I can use the array function, A, R, A, Y, enter, select it, enter, and then I'm going to go right here, we can go rectangular or path. Let's do rectangular first, and then uh, I'm going to give it columns, I'm going to go 13, right, because we shrunk it by one, enter. And then we're going to go space, specify the distance between the columns, and we can do it right here. We can just click those for the base length, for the base space. And then rows, we're going to type in one, enter. Because if you look right there, there's extra ones, enter. And that's it. Uh, I can't remember if I did it. Uh, if I did it so, yeah, it's associated, so you can use that and stretch them out as you wanted. That's how you do that with. Uh, array and that's pretty much the simplest way to do it in AutoCAD. AutoCAD not like uh, some other programs you gotta locate the first one in the proper spacing first or you could do them all. Let's do it, I'll show you another way to do it. Control Z so you don't have to move it over. Come back to where we started we could go like this we could select it type it enter type array And then uh, path, let's say that's our path, that line. And associative, no. If we go no, and then we go item, and let's go method, measure, and then we're going to go item. And we'll just type in from that point to that point. And then you end up with one on each end, but since it's not associative, just done with that. We can take this and delete it. And this one here, we can delete it. But then they're not associated, right? You could have to, that's the deal. That's how that works. So now, uh, that's pretty much how you do little guardrails, stanchions, and pickets. Here, we're going to do the same thing modify, draw, hatch, enter, select it, group. And then select it. All right, so let's take this one. Same thing, it doesn't matter. Uh, which side we can do this, then let's go to the right side. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just go to the right side. All right, so now this dimension is the one that's provided, right? We already know, well, that's not it either. So that's the given dimension, 87.66, and we know the angle. That's our givens, right? And we at least we know the height. That's not what this is about. So we need to know the, the thickness, the one and a half inch thick picket, the wide picket here. We need to know what it is on the diagonal. So in AutoCAD, it's easy. You just draw it and you put it in there. If you don't have it, you can say one and a half is the width, which is, this is, and the 3302 is the angle. So the cosine is the adjacent side over the diagonal. And then 1.5, which is the adjacent side divided by the diagonal, the picket is equal to the cosine of 3302. And if you do the mat, uh, algebra, you'll end up with 1.5 divided by the cosine of 3302 equals the diagonal. And that's it right there, 1.789. And I'll show you how to do that here. Trying to, don't try to do it in the AutoCAD calculator. They boned it. It's no, it's no good. Um, 
So 1.5 divided by 33.02 cosine, make sure you're in degrees, equals 1.7889, 1.7889, right? I think I drew 1.789. So if you add that to this number, you'll get 89.449, right? So I did it right there, 88.66 .66 plus 1.789. 89.449. Now, in AutoCAD, again, that's how you get your overall length, right? Instead of just adding, you have to add it on a diagonal. So let's do the same thing here. Enter, and we're going to go to the center of this, to the center of this. So the inside face to the right-hand side of the theoretical picket. And then we're going to divide this. And this is the same dimension, 89.449. I'll show you. 89.449. And we're going to divide that. Divide. Enter. And number of segments yeah, is going to be 14. Um, so we, we really don't know that. Let's just do the math here. So I don't really show that though, do I? So let's just do it calculator same thing we got to do that's our so here we need this number sorry so to find out the number the maximum if we go four plus one and a half which is the maximum space that we can have for that picket we need the diagonal and you just do the same thing you could just use uh, 5.5 which is four plus one and a half divided by 3.02 cosine equals and that's the maximum diagonal that we could have so it's going to be probably smaller than that so let's copy and paste that control C and then we go 89.449 divided by control V equals 13.6 so that's going to be 14 so we're going to go 88 I'm sorry 89.449 89.449 divided by 14. And that's going to give us this center to center on the diagonal. Control C. And we could just do that, right? We could do a, a, one way to do it is L enter. And then we could go Control V. I have to put it here. Control V. And hold it on that line and enter and it'll give you uh, that point right there so if we go move we can move it right there like that and then we can just array it out or we could just divide that divide 14 14 enter and it'll be in exactly the same spot right right side of this one to the right side of this one and then we're going to just do the same thing I'll grab it and type in array and we're going to go path which is this line and then we're going to go method measure then we're going to go to items and then we can just pick that dimension it's asking for the distance we can just pick that point from center to center enter oh no it didn't do it item so distance along uh, I think there's 14 base of 13 pickets how about if I just paste that items specify the distance control V enter it's weird that it didn't pick up that dimension because normally you'd say 13 enter items and if we went like this right like there Enter, it would just expand them way out. So doing something weird. Enter, let's just go tangent and paste it. Control V, enter. Never had to happen. It's sometimes are glitchy. And then all those dimensions are the same. And then enter. And then here we go with this. We have, uh, they're all non associated again, right? But if you had to do a gang of these and they were incremental, you could just put the pickets, add the pickets. That's how you do that. 
Um, I think I kind of covered the math and uh, yeah, so I think that I show you once you know the formula for the diagonal for the inch and a half, we did the six, so you just are five and a half, five point five divided by the cosine of thirty three oh two and you got the diagonal. So you could divide the overall length by that number and get you the number of pickets by rounding up. We're gonna take this and move it from the toe to that theoretical toe, right? And then we're gonna do divide. That line and a 17. All right, and then we can take this, move it just like we did with the handrails to that point there, and then we can just do an array. A path, a method, associative, eh, we can say yes, method, measure. Let's go to items, distance, we can go like that, and uh, 18, is that right? I think there's 17. Actually, it'd be 16, because that's the last one, since the last one's the landing, right? 16, enter, and that's how you lay out stair treads. Uh, the easiest way I can tell you on AutoCAD, I don't use AutoCAD, I haven't, and honestly, I haven't laid out uh, stairs and years but that's what i remember and as far as the pickets and the layout of the stairs goes i think that's pretty complete uh save you a lot of time if you don't know how and <laughs> i won't ever have to figure it out again good luck in your career hope that helps and uh thanks for watching